Word here bringing you a lesson on Thunderstruck. I'm going to walk through the intro, the verse, and the chorus. Let me zoom in and I'll take you through it step by step. Okay, beginning with the intro here, we start with the fourth fret on the second string and the seventh fret on the second string. And we're going to bounce those two notes off of the open B. So you're going to hit the open B to the fourth fret and pull that off. And then you hit the seventh fret and pull that off. So slowly that looks like this. And a little more quickly. take that exact same pattern and we shift it to the 5th fret on the same string, the 2nd string, and the pinky to the 8th fret on the 2nd string. And the same pattern applies there. So with both of those we have 4 to 7. plays that eight times to be exact and then we shift to five and eight and we'll do that eight times as well. And that whole rotation happens twice so you go from four to seven eight times, from five to eight eight times, then back to four to seven eight times, then to five and eight eight more times. Then that's when we shift to the next pattern. Now we're at the 12th fret on the 2nd string. We're going to be doing the 12th fret, the 10th fret, the 9th, 10th, and 9th again. 12, 10, 9, 10, 9. And each of those will be with the open string, just as the previous pattern. Alright, and then we're going to shift down to the 7th fret with the middle finger, then to the ninth fret, and to the fifth fret. Once again with the open, uh, open strings between those notes. Okay. Okay, this next part is going to the fifth fret, to the fourth fret, which is just like uh, the beginning of the song here. Okay, we're going to do that part, and then you'll go to the uh, fifth fret and fourth fret. Okay, so the whole pattern is like this. Okay, then generally live, Angus will go into the chords after that. He doesn't play that intro riff the whole song, usually like the recording. He goes into this chordal riff here, which starts on the B5, 
which is the second fret, if you can see that, will be on the second fret here on the A string, then the uh, fourth fret here and the fourth fret here with the pinky. And we're going to go from that chord, which is B5, to A5, which is the second fret on the D string. And I'm going to bar that third string as well to the E5, barring the second fret and the uh, second fret on the D string here as well. Then it goes A5 twice to E5. So you have B5, A5, E5, A5, A5, E5. that chord several times, that B5 at this point of the song, um, and then he goes into the next riff. The next main riff of the tune here is a hit sequence that starts on the B5, just like we did before, to the A5, to the E5. So this is a pretty similar sequence to the thing we just learned. Right, he does that B5, A5, E5, then the second time he does A5, B5, a5, E5. Okay, once again, that's here. Okay, and he does that uh, chord progression, those four chords, he does that three times. So here's the whole sequence slowly. on to the chorus riff from here. He moves on to the chorus riff here using the B5 to the A5 to the open top two strings to the E5. It looks like this. That's it for the main riffs of Thunderstruck. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for updates. Also, like it and share it with your friends.